In an instant, destruction, devastation, loss of life. Each of the Islamic State operatives who detonated suicide belts and bombs in Brussels is believed to have carried between 13 and 45 kilos of an explosive compound called triacetone triperoxide, or TATP. Security experts say TATP has become the bomb material of choice for terrorists. Joseph Trevithick is with GlobalSecurity.org. It's not a difficult chemical to obtain, and it forms, uh, after this processing method, it forms a crystalline substance that is highly sensitive and extremely volatile. So volatile that Palestinian bomb makers named the compound Mother of Satan. Deadly accidental explosions are not uncommon during manufacturing. TATP is extremely unstable. It's sensitive to uh, being shaken violently or being exposed to changes in temperature, open flames, um, any kind of friction if you were to strike across a hard surface. I mean, you, you don't want to be handling this material. That is why officials were surprised to find large quantities of TATP at the apartment rented by the Brussels bombers, more than 13 kilos, along with large quantities of raw materials. Now analysts wonder if IS bomb makers have perfected a more stable manufacturing method. Right Seth right. Jones is That's a counterterrorism right. expert with the RAND Corporation. Um, I think what we found is in mixing the ingredients together and in getting the right ingredients, there's been progress among these particular terrorist groups, including ISIS, in putting together bombs that are much less likely than a decade ago in exploding during the preparation stage. Not good news for law enforcement, given that several hundred IS-trained fighters are thought to be planning more attacks in Europe. I think what the Brussels attacks show, along with a few others, is uh, that there are the people willing to put these materials together, the materials that are ready, readily available, and they're relatively cheap to do. So this is the new norm. Officials say the best way to counter this kind of threat is to go through stepped-up intelligence gathering and sharing of information. For producer Jeff Swicord, Amy Katz, VOA News, Washington.